Welcome back here to the Patriots Sports Network for Patriots women's soccer action on Hartzler Field in Florence, South Carolina. I'm Alex Wober, the voice in the booth, bringing you Patriots soccer on this Saturday evening. Before we get into the action, but first let's check out our pregame interview with Patriots head women's soccer coach Chelsea Parker. Alex Weber here with head coach of the women's soccer team, Chelsea Parker. First of all, just talk about some of the keys to success in getting a victory against Southern Wesleyan University. Yeah, I think, um, you know, it's been a, a hard week with three games, um, but I think just staying true to who we are and um, being confident, the confidence that we had uh, on Tuesday night um, is going to be key. You know, they're a good team. Um, they've gotten improved from last year. Um, so just I think it's good for us for it uh, being a home game. Um, our leukemia game, uh, so I think the girls have a lot to play for and, and just kind of going off that momentum and energy. Talking about the, you know, the childhood cancer leukemia awareness match, how important is it to get the community out here for that? It's really important, um, you know, especially since we're dedicating the game to um, a Florence native who um, just beat her battle with, with leukemia um, and is a soccer player. So um, it's really important to get the community out. We're really excited about it. Um, and just, to, if anything, just share awareness um, is the biggest thing for us on Saturday. You know, lastly, talk about some of the things that you and the team are stressing in practices uh, with this game against Southern Wesleyan. Uh, biggest thing for us is uh, defensively, I think this week we've done really, really well. Um, didn't get the result yesterday, um, but my Abby had a great set piece um, that, that kind of took that result away from us. But defensively, we've been in really good shape. Um, so I think it's more on the attack, how we can score goals, how we can be more dynamic um, and more dangerous in our attacking third. Absolutely. Well, uh, thank you for talking with us, and uh, good luck against Southern Wesleyan. Thank you. Appreciate it. Today we have the Southern Wesleyan University Warriors coming into the swamp to face the home defending Francis Marion University Patriots. The Patriots men's soccer team will follow the women's game at 7.30 p.m. right here on the Patriots Sports Network. You can find that link on the FMUPatriots.com under men's soccer or on the 2022-23 calendar year. The Patriots women's program enters this season for its second year in Conference Carolinas. Altogether, 13 players returned from last year's squad. Parker also brought in a recruiting class of 11 newcomers that includes 8 freshmen and 3 transfers. Let's take a look at the lineups for both sides, starting with Southern Wesleyan University. The Warriors starting lineup in goal for Southern Wesleyan, number zero, double zero, Amanda Magnan. Defending, number one, Natalie Thompson. Midfielder, number three, Brooke Cash. Midfielder, number four, Nadia Perez. Defender, number five, Camden Malin. Defender, number six, Grace Williams. Midfielder, number nine, Brianna Pickens. Defender, number 11, Haley Von Enns. Midfielder, number 12, Maddie Wurst. Defender number 15, Carla Gordon. And defender number 23, Bella Hansel. The Warriors are head coached by Al Menendez and assisted by Trey Anderson and Karen Menendez. Managers of the squad, Nicole Menendez and Carrie Dean. Let's take a look at the Patriots' side of the pitch, starting in goal with number one, Michaela Willits. Defender number two, Jordan White. Midfielder number six, Anaya Ezegure. Midfielder number seven, Gianna Pavone. Mid forward number nine, Valentina Restrepo. Midfielder number 11, J.G. Garon. Defender 15, Gracie Adkins. Forward number 16, Lindsey Downey. Midfielder number 18, Abby Brosnahan. Defender number 19, Joanna Kitbaum. And defender number 21, Paula Sanabria. The Patriots are coached by Chelsea Parker, assisted by Daly McEwen, and the athletic trainer is Haley Black. We will return. We'll let our PA announcer go through the lineups as well as the national anthem right here on the Patriots Sports Network, and we'll be right back right after that. We appreciate your cooperation in creating a safe and positive game environment. Fans are reminded that Francis Marion University is a smoke-free campus and that no pets are allowed within the confines of the Griffin Athletic Complex. Welcome to Hartzler Field on the campus of Francis Marion University for this afternoon's Conference Carolinas women's soccer match between the Southern Wesleyan Warriors and your Francis Marion University Patriots. 
Please join with us this afternoon as we honor and recognize those who have experienced and lived through childhood cancer and leukemia. During this time, the Francis Marion women's soccer team would like to dedicate today's match to leukemia survivor and Florence native, Lila Gary. This past year, this past year, Lila overcame her battle with leukemia and is back to playing the sport she loves at Charleston United Soccer Club. Lila, you are a true fighter and we are so proud of you. And fans are reminded that there's a table to get wristbands and to sign up for Be The Match and to make donations to the LLS back behind the press box. And thank you for joining us today for the match. Before we meet today's starters, if everyone would please rise and gentlemen remove your caps as we honor America with the playing of the National Anthem. <laughs> Let's meet the starting lineup for the Warriors from Central South Carolina. In goal, number zero, a freshman from Hilton Head, South Carolina, Amanda Magnin. Number one, a senior from Aiken, Natalie Thompson. Number three, a senior from Bowling Springs, Brooke Cash. Number four, a freshman from Carrollton, Georgia, Nadia Perez. Number five, a freshman from Suckville, Washington, Camden Maleen. Number six, a senior from Simpsonville, Grace Williams. Number nine, a senior from Easley, Brianna Pickens. Number 11, a senior from Anderson, Haley Bunins. Number 12, a junior from Anderson, Maddie Wurst. Number 15, a freshman from Lexington, Carla Gordon. And 23, a sophomore from Clayton, North Carolina, Bella Henzo. The Warriors are coached by Al Manessis, and he's assisted by Trey Anderson and Karen Manessis. And now the starting lineup for your Francis Marion University Patriots. In goal, number one, a senior from Mastic, New York, Michaela Willis. Number two, a sophomore from Somerville, Jordan White. Number six, a junior from Hernani, Spain, Ainera Isagere. Number seven, a freshman from Myrtle Beach, Gianna Pavone. Number nine, a senior from Medellin, Colombia, Valentina Restrepo. Number 11, a sophomore from Fort Mill, J.G. Garan. Number 15, a sophomore from Kannapolis, North Carolina, Gracie Atkins. Number 16, a sophomore from Little River, Lindsey Downey. Number 18, a freshman from Port St. Lucie, Florida, Abby Brosnahan. Number 19, a freshman from Larum, Sweden, Johanna Sutlund. And 21, a junior from Barbara Galvalis, Spain, 
Paula Sanabria. Your Patriots are coached by Chelsea Parker. The assistant coach is Daly McEwen, and the athletic trainer is Haley Black. And right back here on the Patriots Sports Network before first half kickoff. Let's look at some of the statistics on both sides. Standings wise, Southern Western University comes into this match with an overall record of 3-9-1 and, and in the conference a record of 2-6-1. The Patriots with a record of 1-9-3 and 0-7-2 and and in conference. They're looking for their first conference win of the season today. And after speaking with head coach Chelsea Parker and some of the members of the women's soccer team, they, they feel like they can get it done today. But it will be interesting to see here between two teams that are desperate for wins in this conference, trying to end the season going into conference Carolina's tournament play. Looking at Southern Wesleyan University, let's look at take a look at some of their last few games but before we look at that let's take a look at the Francis Marion schedule the Patriots with a tie against number 24 UNCP last on October 11th on Wednesday and then a 0-1 to loss at Belmont Abbey on Thursday so they, they've had a ton of games this week this is going to be their third game I believe of the week not including the Emmanuel match last Saturday. But they will finish the season today with Southern Wesleyan at Converse on October 19th and then back at home for their final game of regular season play hosting Erskine. Now looking at Southern Wesleyan University, looking at their schedule, they finish out with, of course, Francis Marion University here today. Belmont Abbey, October 19th, that's at their place, and then they come back home to host UNC Pembroke, October 22nd. Very similar teams that both teams are going to be playing. The Patriots playing Belmont Abbey and Pembroke both this week. Now the Warriors will have to play both of them in this next week. So it will be interesting to see what these two squads do ending the season with their last three games. The Patriots today rocking all white kits top to bottom and Southern Wesleyan rocking all blue top to bottom. The keepers Amanda Magnin sporting an all highlighter set up in the back and Michaela Willits with the all black for the Patriots. Southern Wesleyan going to kick this one off for us Waiting for the signal from our official in the middle, Hugo Laredo. And he'll give it to us. So the Wesleyan going to just boot one right down the field to start off with. Brosnahan plays it back to White. And White was looking for Downey. Skips past the defender, number 11, Haley Von Enns. He's forced to play it back to the keeper. Head touch that time by Hansel. Gives it back to the Patriots. White's pass is deflected out of bounds for a throw in here. Throw in this time for Southern Wesleyan. Downey ends up back with it. Downey looking for Restrepo, stays with it, chops inside. And she'll take a shot just outside of the 18-yard box, but that'll be a goal kick now for Magnin.
Restrepo has it. Finds Brosnahan. Turns and sends a ball this time to the left side. Going to be a shot that time saved by Magnin. That time a shot by J.G. Garon. Jordan White does a good job of pushing it back into the Warriors' midfield. Right around the back line of the Warriors. Warriors with numbers outside the 18-yard box. And the Patriots somehow come back with it. Ball intended for Downey. Could be a free kick for the Warriors. Just outside the midfield circle. Here comes the free kick take. Low at the box, booted out back to the Warriors. Flicked and sent down the wing. Ball served into the box, and just behind the goal, it's going to be a goal kick now for Willits. Francis Marion would like to thank a few of the sponsors here that represent the athletic department. Zaxby's, McCall's Supply Incorporated, Little Caesars Pizza, La Quinta Inn & Suites, McDonald's, Rains Hospitality, State Credit Union, Sparrow & Kennedy Tractor Supply, PD Electric Cooperative, Hyatt Place, Quincy's Family Steakhouse, Western Sizzlin', Arby's & KFC, Adidas, Florence Toyota, State Farm & Agent Jim Stewart, McLeod Sports Medicine, Pepsi, McLeod Health, King Cadillac Buick GMC, Chick-fil-A, Circle Park Behavioral Health Services, Fairfield Inn and Suites Marriott, Ken Jackson and Remax Professionals, Comfort Inn, and the Waffle House. So it'll be a throw in here for the Warriors just past midfield, and we've got a awaiting substitute here for the Patriots. Looks to be... Defender Alejandra Mesa. But from this angle over here, it's hard to tell. Ball intended for Downey. She's up top. Has a couple Warriors come back to defend. Garon. Ball through the defense intended for Downey. Downey trying to use a little bit of her physicality. And that's going to be a Warriors throw in. Substitute now for FMU, and that is Alejandra Mesa, the defender, coming in for Johanna Hitbaum. Throw in sent intended for Downey. Restrepo finds it back, plays it out to Jordan White. And Gianna Pavone can't keep it inside the lines. It's going to be a throw in now for the Warriors. Ball gets through the defense. Willits going to step up and boom the ball back to the back line of Southern Wesleyan. And there's Brosnahan with it. 
Ball intended for Pavone. Down to the corner flag. Intended for Downey, it's going to be a throw in for the Patriots. Another oh, throw in for the Patriots, just a bit closer to that corner flag. Long ball that time into the box. As Aguirre got a foot on it. Downey, Restrepo, trying to make a play on it. Garon ends up back with it. She has Restrepo. Restrepo takes a shot. It's going to be wide right. Goal kick now for the, War the Warriors. Flick back and Jordan White just got under it, but the Warriors give it back to the Patriots. White with plenty of space for Downey, but it's deflected back to the Warriors at midfield. Ball played long, that time intended for Brooke Cash. Mesa is going to defend it well. That's going to be a throw in, though, for the Warriors. Warriors still with it. Defended well by Restrepo. And step up that time is Gracie Adkins to boot it back towards midfield. Adkins defending well. Ball inside the box here for the Warriors. Taken away by Santa Bria. As a gear raised ball out of bounds. Throw in now for Southern Wesleyan. Mesa ends up back with it, close to the corner flag, and that'll be a throw in for the Patriots. Substitution now. Here comes Lindsey Downey off the pitch for freshman Kylie Reif. Brosnahan. Had an opportunity to send the ball to Pavone. It was picked up well by the Warriors. Ball played too hard for Brosnahan. And here come the Warriors up the field. Wait at that time, that comes to Hansel. Hansel sends the ball into the box. Defended well by White. And that ball sent into the box, but just a bit late. Shot blocked. Warriors staying with it. Ball into the box, and Willits comes up to scoop it up.
And that's going to be a throw in now for the Patriots. Just at midfield, Jordan White sends it to Brosnahan, and that one headed out of bounds. Closer to the Warriors. Lower third now. White with a throw in intended for Rife. Rife going to try and take it with her to the corner flag. Try and go through the legs that time, but she won't be able to. Be a throw in, though, for the Patriots. And they may say that's going to be a corner, and I believe they will. Multiple Patriots inside the box. The first corner kick of the match. Ball sent low. Warriors there first. Pavone with the cleanup to Jordan White. And White sends a line drive into the chest of Grace Williams. Pavone couldn't get a nick on the ball. Just the tip of the boot potentially would have made the Patriots dangerous there in the lower third. It finds its way past midfield into the Patriot defense. And that's going to be a Warriors throw in. Rife tried to keep it alive. Going to be a Warriors throw in though. Mesa that time steps in front. Adkins has it. Just looking for the long ball. Finds Pavone. All down the line for Brosnahan. And a throw in given for the Patriots. So about 30 minutes to go here in the first half of action. Score still nil-nil. Patriots with one corner kick and three shots. So another corner kick here for FMU. Going to be taken by Jordan White once again, the sophomore defender out of Somerville, South Carolina. Ball sent into the box. Opportunity and the near post defender, excuse me, the far post defender was right there for the save. And they'll call offsides that time on Brosnahan. That'll be a... Pretty much a goal kick for Magnin. Out of bounds, Patriot possession now. Garon sends a ball intended for Rife. 1v1 with the Warriors defender. And a free kick given for the Patriots. They're going to overrule the call. 
So Hugo Laredo going to overrule his own call and give the free kick to Southern Wesleyan. Rosnahan. Garon's ball intended for Rife. Free kick here for FMU. Deep free kick. Just try and swing the ball into the box. It's the best thing you can do. And the flick off the head of Brosnahan just goes right for a Warriors goal kick. Warriors now with a chance. Ball swerved into the box. Top of the box now this time. Willits was in position to make the save, but it goes wide left. The deflection gives the Warriors a corner kick. Ball served in and headed out by a Patriot. Warriors still staying with it. But defended well by FMU. And they'll call off sides. Free kick for FMU now. Rife just trying to get close to the ball, and it's going to be a rollout for Magnin. Adkins will play it back to Willits. Brosnahan, ball for Pavone, and she's going to be offside before she gets to receive it. Free kick now for the Warriors. White defending well. And as a gear a, tried to play a ball for Garam, but it was just a bit too short. Willett's coming up for it. Rife 
Fife trying to make a move on it, but the Warriors have just locked things up in the back line tonight. Ball intended for Restrepo. She's going to get there. Magnum makes the save just at the edge of the 18-yard box. I was worried for a second that she was going to come out a bit too far. But she had very good positioning on the play and was able to stop a Restrepo effort. Well, Alondra Jarvis is going to come onto the pitch for Kylie Reif. Strepo gets the edge around. And a corner kick for the Patriots. There's Restrepo's ball into the back of the net. It finds its way. Goal for the Patriots. A platoon of Patriots inside the box on the corner kick from Restrepo, and it finds its way into the back of the net. By the looks of the celebration from the Patriot, it looks like Paula Santabria was able to start the knock-in, but I'm not sure if Alejandra Mesa was the one who finished it. We're waiting to get an official statting on the play, but the Patriots have opened up with the lead, 1-0, here with 20 and a half to go in the first half. Waiting on the official stat and the what we can officially tell you happened on that play. And that may change later on if we go back and check out the stats and find something that we did not quite see. But at the moment, I believe Santa Bria was the one who recorded the goal. Or Alejandra Mesa, who looked to be finishing it off inside the box. Free kick here for the Warriors just in front of midfield. Santa Bria took a shot that time. And she was slow to get up. She's still having a hard time. Ball is headed into the box. Warriors had a chance, but that'll be a free kick for the Patriots. So J.G. Garon comes off. Oh. 
But she just took a quick swig of water. She's faking us out over there on the Patriot side. Jarvis getting dangerous into the lower third of the Warriors field. Jarvis tries to send the ball into the box, just fading backwards. Always going to be hard to get the ball up for a potential opportunity. Warriors now back with it towards their flag. Going the Patriots' way. Ball intended for White, and she sends it right behind the goal. She was looking to send the ball into the box. Played quickly out wide to the back. Will be a Patriot throw in now. Warriors with it. Jordan White with some great defending that time. The Warriors still stay with it. No order a free kick here for the Warriors. Ball served in that time by the Warriors. And it's headed out of bounds. The ball coming from Haley Von Enns. Just under 15 and a half to go here in the first half. Patriots still lead 1-0. They've got six shots to their name and three corner kicks, while the Warriors have two shots and one corner kick. And here's a substitution here on our Ezeguere coming off the pitch. And here comes Ellie Ray for the Patriots. Ellie Ray, a fifth-year senior midfielder out of Charlottesville, Virginia, making her debut in the match today. Her debut of the day coming off for Naira or coming on for Anaira as a Gure. Ellie Ray been a pivotal piece in the substitutions coming off and coming on the pitch for the Patriots. There's the ball that time. Served in to Jarvis. Free kick now for the Warriors. And a handball on the Warriors. Going to go 
the Patriots way for a free kick just in front of the Warriors bench. Magnin able to corral it. And she's looking for the dump off. But she's actually going to wave off some of the Warriors and punt the ball. Free kick now for the Warriors. That one going to be taken by Von Enns. Ray trying to stay with it. Finds its way back to the Warriors. Send it over the top ball that time. Mesa. Defending well. Strepo able to get around. The ball intended for Garon. Find its way there. Ball into the box. Was looking for Jarvis. There's Ellie Ray with the shot just over the top bar. Substitution here for the Warriors. Two coming on, two coming off. Jarvis, making some moves on the Warriors. Ball for Pavone, played off the top leg. She's trying to get around the Warriors defender. And a free kick given to FMU. Treated like a short corner kick. Ball sent into the box. Adkins almost got ahead on it. Pavone shot wide right. Goal kick for the Warriors. Patriots come back with it. Pavone with the ball into the box. Flicked off Jarvis. Ellie Ray takes the volley, but that one wide left. Substitution now for Southern Wesleyan. Pavone defending well against the shield. That's going to go the Warriors' way for a free kick. Under 10 minutes to go now. Free kick for the Warriors after the collision with White.
Ball is played short to the Warriors. Restrepo's ball for Jarvis. She's on sides. Jarvis has the pace. But the Warriors defended away from her very well that time inside the box. The official scoring for the Patriots' first goal of the match was off the head of Alejandra Mesa. She was assisted by Valentina Restrepo on the corner kick. She was the one who served the ball in for the Patriots. Mesa's first career goal as a Patriot. Finds its way to the back of the net off a jumbled corner play in the 25th minute. Well, they'll have another corner kick, though, this time where they've had most of their success and opportunities. Here comes the ball from Restrepo. Kind of a chip ball into the box off the head of Ray. There's Alejandra Mesa there. And a throw in for the Patriots. Seven minutes to go now here in the first half. FMU with the lead over Southern Wesley in 1 0. Ball delivered to Jarvis. And another corner kick. Excuse me, that'll be a. It'll just be a throw in. Garon flicks it back into the box. Warriors trying to clear it away. Santa Bria comes up. Excited to take the shot with momentum. There's Restrepo now with it. Has Jarvis. Jarvis will take a shot, but her shot deflected left and will be a corner kick now for FMU. Jumbled Patriot look inside the box. Just like the, the first goal for FMU. There's the ball in. Looks like the Patriots were signaling for a handball, but too many soccer players just in the box that time. You, you're not going to be able to see that if you're uh, a middle official without replays or anything like that. So another corner kick from Restrepo is sent into the box. Santa Bria did get ahead on it, but that one wide right for a Warriors goal kick. About five minutes to go here in the first half of play. Garon was trying to take it away. And there's Jordan White now. Plays it upfield. That time Kayla Hughes. So that'll be a goal kick for FMU for Willits. Ball slips through the back line of the Warriors, and they recover well. Ellie Ray right there for the interception. Plays it to Pavone. And Ellie Ray's pass just a bit too much on it for Pavone. Just the soft touch that time puts Pavone in a good position to swing a ball into the box, but it's going to be a goal kick for the Warriors.
And Alondra Jarvis right there to receive it. Ball intended for Garon, but she was making a different run. And a free kick for the Warriors after a bit too touchy from Garon. Free kick now for Southern Wesleyan. Ball coming in from the Warriors just to the edge of the 18. Warriors still have it. But a ball just rolls to the feet of Willits. And she'll pick it up. Most likely punt it away. Two minutes to go. She'll send a ball to midfield. Bounces over the Warriors' defense. Garon able to stay with it. Garon just outside the box with a ball intended for Jarvis and Magnin just there to cover it up. Ball is pushed forward immediately. Won back by the Patriots. Free kick now for FMU. And there's the one-minute mark as the Patriots have a free kick deep. Kelly Ray's ball is flicked just right. Magnin lets it go for a goal kick with about 45 here, counting down. She's going to play it quickly to her defender. Thirty-second mark now. Warriors just trying to get an opportunity inside the Patriots' box. Only two shots and one corner kick for Southern Wesleyan here in the first half. Patriots pretty much tripling that. And Willett scoops it up with about 12 seconds to go. We'll get the final 10 seconds down here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And a big ball to midfield, going to take us into halftime. Let's take a look at some of the halftime stats here before we let you go. Taking a look at the first half of action. First off, the Warriors of Southern Wesleyan University just haven't had as many chances go their way here in the first half. Zero goals, but two shots. Uh, none on target so far, but one corner to their name. And two saves. Their keeper, Magna, has faced nine shots here in the first half. But looking at Francis Marion University, one goal. The one goal coming from Alejandra Mesa on the corner kick served in by Valentina Restrepo. The Patriots have nine shots so far, three on goal and six corner kicks. Taking a look at some of the individual stats. Two shots, the leader for Southern West, and the only two shots coming from midfielder number 12, Matty Worsh. All the shots here for the Patriots will take you one by one. Midfielder Gianna Pavone, forward number nine, Valentina Restrepo. Midfielder J.G. Garon, forward Lindsey Downey. Midfielder Abby Brosnan, and midfielder Lalandra Jarvis, all with a shot apiece. J.G. Garon, though, with one shot on goal. Restrepo with the assist on Mesa's corner kick goal. Ellie Ray, though, with two shots, and Alejandra Mesa with two shots, two on goal, and, of course, the lone goal for the Patriots there in the first half. Possession so far looking in favor 
of Southern Wesleyan, actually. 56% possession for the Warriors, 44 for the Patriots. Excuse me, I do have that backwards. Yes, 56% possession for FMU, 44% for Southern Wesleyan. So the Patriots are leading in terms of holding on to the ball. They're leading as well on the scoreboard, 1-0 here at halftime. I'm Alex Wober. We'll take a quick break and return right back here on the Patriots Sports Network. This is where tradition is unmatched and excellence is earned daily in the classroom, during practice, and in high-level competition. Agerville has become title town. Our virtues set us apart. We daily work to build champions in body, mind, and soul. It's who we are. This is Conference Carolinas. And you know why all those people are there? Because this is the very first one, the very first graduate. So special. If there's a prettier place to go to college in the springtime, we don't know about it. Of course, we think it's the place to be all year round. Francis Marion University. Unparalleled beauty, unbeatable affordability, education that will last a lifetime. Conference Carolinas is where tradition is unmatched and excellence is earned daily in the classroom, during practice, and in high-level competition. Agerville has become title town. Our virtues set us apart. We daily work to build champions in body, mind, and soul. It's who we are. This is Conference Carolinas. And you know why all those people are there? Because this is the very first one, the very first graduate. So special.
If there's a prettier place to go to college in the springtime, we don't know about it. Of course, we think it's the place to be all year round. Francis Marion University. Unparalleled beauty, unbeatable affordability, education that will last a lifetime. Conference Carolinas is where tradition is unmatched and excellence is earned daily in the classroom, during practice, and in high-level competition. Agerville has become title town. Our virtues set us apart. We daily work to build champions in body, mind, and soul. It's who we are. This is Conference Carolinas. Because this is the very first one, the very first graduate. So special. If there's a prettier place to go to college in the springtime, we don't know about it. Of course, we think it's the place to be all year round. Francis Marion University. Unparalleled beauty, unbeatable affordability, education that will last a lifetime. Conference Carolinas is where tradition is unmatched and excellence is earned daily in the classroom, during practice, and in high-level competition. Agerville has become title town. Our virtues set us apart. We daily work to build champions in body, mind, and soul. It's who we are. This is Conference Carolinas. picture all of the graduates all of the faculty 
all of the administration decked out in their regalia. And as you look up at all those people, you see families, huge families. And you know why all those people are there? Because this is the very first one, the very first graduate. So special. If there's a prettier place to go to college in the springtime, we don't know about it. Of course, we think it's the place to be all year round. Francis Marion University. Unparalleled beauty, unbeatable affordability, education that will last a lifetime. Conference Carolinas is where tradition is unmatched and excellence is earned daily in the classroom, during practice, and in high-level competition. Aggerville has become title town. Our virtues set us apart. We daily work to build champions in body, mind, and soul. It's who we are. This is Conference Carolinas. And you know why all those people are there? Because this is the very first one, the very first graduate. So special. If there's a prettier place to go to college in the springtime, we don't know about it. Of course, we think it's the place to be all year round. Francis Marion University. Unparalleled beauty, unbeatable affordability, education that will last a lifetime. Welcome back to the Patriot Sports Network. I'm Alex Wober, joining you back here for second half action here between the visiting Southern Wesleyan University and the hosting Francis Marion University. Just looking back at the halftime stats after the first half, nine shots for the Patriots, two for the Warriors, one assist from Valentina Restrepo. Sort of a duo assist. Restrepo swung the ball in on the corner. Adkins also gets a 
uh, part partial assist on the play where Mesa ended up finishing it into the back of the net for the Patriots' lone goal there in the first half. Uh, ten shots for the Patriots, six corner kicks, two shots for the Warriors, one corner kick for them. And we're off here in the second half with the Patriots here on the near side for us. Going to be able to see them a lot better now that the sun's going down because that's probably top three things we're hoping for here in the press box as a production crew. That sun is a killer. So now that it's going down, it's a little bit easier for us to catch all the action. And the Warriors are looking for their first shot on goal. Two shots, all coming from number 12, Matty Worst. And they might have an opportunity this time, but it's deflected by Adkins. So the shot from number 15, Carla Gordon, was on target, but it was ultimately blocked by a duo of Patriots. It will be a corner kick, the second corner kick for the Warriors. Ball's going to be swung in. Top of the box, Garon gets a foot on it. Jordan White goes up for it. Santa Bria gets tripped up, and it's pinball soccer, as I like to say, right here on the edge of the box. Everybody's all jumbled up, and it's really hard as an official to make a call here. And they'll finally call something this time, but it's going to be in favor of the Patriots. So it's going to be a free kick just outside the 18-yard box, or it might be inside the box, as I think a little bit of jersey tugging from both Adkins and number 23, Bella Hansel. Now, I think eventually on that play, something was going to be called, just didn't know who it was going to be called for. Gordon's pass that time worse through Mesa, blocked by Atkins. And Mesa just has to boot it away. And it will be a throw in for the Warriors. G. Garon splits the legs of number one, Natalie Thompson. Restrepo trying to get a touch on the ball. Tripped up and a free kick awarded for the Warriors. Free kick this time going to be taken by Thompson. Ball served into the box. Close to a handball that time on the Patriots. Warriors would have had a penalty kick. Ball from Thompson right to the hands of Willits. And that'll be a punt or a dish out quickly. It looks like it's going to be a punt from Willits. She tells some of her teammates to get up the field. Francis Marion University would like to thank a few of the sponsors here for the athletic department. McCall Supply Incorporated, Little Caesars Pizza, La Quinta Inn and Suites, McDonald's, Rains Hospitality, State Credit Union, Sparrow and Kennedy Tractor Supply, PD Electric Cooperative, Hyatt Place, Quincy's Family Steakhouse, Western Sizzlin, Arby's and KFC, Adidas, Florence Toyota, State Farm and Agent Jim Stewart, McLeod Sports Medicine, Pepsi, McLeod Health, King Cadillac Buick GMC, Chick-fil-A, Circle Park Behavioral Health Services, Fairfield Inn and Suites, Marriott, Ken Jackson and Remax Professionals, Comfort Inn, the Waffle House, and Zaxby's. It will be a free kick given to the Patriots this time. Think of it as a shorter corner kick. Just a few yards up from the corner flag. It's going to be taken by Restrepo. She's ready to send it into the box. Ball's played 
into Ray, but the Warriors get a foot on it first. And that time, Gordon going to get around Garon. And there's going to be no call for Gordon that time. Fans for Southern Wesleyan were out of their seats for that call. And offsides on the Warriors gives the Patriots a free kick. Hugo Laredo, the official in the middle, having some words with Matty Wurst, who clearly was not pleased with the the call on the play. Neither was Carla Gordon, who was taken down in the action. Throw in from Mesa. Sent up field. Towards Ezegure and off of Worst. Ezegure, ball intended for Jarvis off the head of a Warrior and to Ellie Ray, plays it back to Ezegure. One back by the Patriots. Willett plays it back to Atkins. And Atkins just booms it up the field. Free kick for the Warriors as Ray stumbles on top of, I want to say number, maybe number five or number nine for the Warriors. We're just trying to, it is number nine. That's Brianna Pickens that time who picks up the foul and that'll be another free kick for the Warriors that time Gordon coming down with Adkins free kick lining up here for the Warriors Patriots manning a three-person wall. They'll send Jordan White out wide in case they're going to play it short. Ball is sprung in low and picked up by Willits. Zagire back over to White. Downfield to Sipbaum. White was looking for Jarvis. Ball for Restrepo. And to Garon. And that's going to be picked up by Magnin. And sought out wide to Natalie Thompson. Restrepo plays it to Ezegure, back to Restrepo. Looking for the chip pass to Jarvis. Over to Garon. Garon's got Mesa running down line, but she's going to be cut off by Bella Hansel. A free kick for the Warriors. Free kick for the Warriors. Hey, 
Long ball for the Warriors. Warriors still with it. Hansel off of Adkins' hands. They do not call it. Garon able to just send it down the line. Jarvis is able to keep it alive. And Ellie Ray's pass to Garon right there. Pass midfield. And her pass is telegraphed. And that time again, the Warriors telegraph the pass. And it will be a free kick for the Patriots at the offsides mark. Long ball from Adkins, intended for Restrepo, tried to play it off the back heel. Off the knee of a warrior, Restrepo finds it back and she'll take a shot just a bit to the right. An interesting attempt for, by the forward out of Medellin, in Columbia, but we have seen her hit those before. And Mannion was not tall enough to get to that one had it been on target. Ball for Hansel out of bounds. Garon fights it, takes it away, and a ball intended for Sipbaum is cut off by the Warriors. Ball to the middle for Worst. Worst with space. And that is a right call that time. Gordon is off sides. So another free kick for the Patriots that time. She just got to it a bit too early as she waited on it for a second. She might have had a potential play for the Warriors that time with the Patriots a little bit out of position. Jarvis's ball for Restrepo. Restrepo is onside. She took a shot, but it was deflected. And the Warriors send it out of bounds for a Patriot throw in. Put through Patriot defenders as Aguirre finds it back. Off the toe of Gordon, Adkins just sends it upfield. Hoping that a Patriot can get there. Jarvis can, but the Warriors right behind her. Santa Maria right there, played it too quickly as Sitbaum had a chance on it, but I'm sure she didn't expect it to go through the legs of a warrior. Garon outside to Restrepo. Trepo cuts inside. She'll take a shot. Just over the top bar, out of bounds for a Warriors goal kick. <laughs> G 
Gets by White and the Warrior, but Atkins finds it and plays it back to Willits for a boot up field. Restrepo plays it to Sip Bomb. She's going to have to race to get to it. Free kick for the Warriors. Be a free kick for FMU. Here's a substitution, though, real quick. Ellie Ray coming off for the midfielder Brosnahan. Started the first half for FMU. Jordan White got a foot on it. Plays it over to Brosnahan. Mesa back to Brosnahan. Looking for Restrepo, booted away by the Warriors. Throw in for White. Jarvis on side. She's going to have to fight to get there. She does. Ball into the box. There's Garon. Just wide left. She had a wide open net for the Patriots. So close for J.G. Garon. Great attempt. Would have certainly given the Patriots a 2-0 lead as it gone just a couple the inches to the right. It'll be another free kick for the Warriors. Yellow card for number 12, Matty Worst. For the Warriors. She can't really believe it right now. And I almost... I almost have to feel a little bit bad for the Warriors because they have had a lot of calls not go their way. Again, I'm up here just calling the game. I don't get paid to officiate, but it does seem as if the majority of fouls have been on them and haven't really gone their way in their favor. That's going to be the first yellow card of the game given to Worst. of the conversation with the head coach for Southern Wesleyan. That ball played quickly to worst. And defended well by the Patriots. As Aguirre's ball out of bounds, Hansel almost was able to keep it going. Defended well again by the Patriots. Restrepo trying to get around worst. Played to Hansel, but out of bounds. Throw in for the Patriots. Uh, 
and they'll give a yellow card that time to the Patriots and Ara Ezeguere. Free kick given to the Warriors now. And here comes the ball from Worst. Gordon came in hot for the header. Blocked by the Patriots. And a ball to nobody that time by the Warriors. Willits was able to keep it alive. Ball played to Mesa in midfield. That's going to be a free kick as well. Uh, another card coming out. And that time a card for Natalie Thompson. Just the collision that time at midfield registers and warrants a free kick here for FMU. It's going to be taken by Adkins at midfield. Adkins going to deliver the ball. Comes inside the box. It's headed out by Thompson. Strepo. Strepo fights back for it, gets it to Garon. Play on here, the Warriors had numbers up top, but Adkins plays great wall of Florence, takes it back. Atkins boots it away. The bomb keeps it alive. Free kick now for the Warriors after Kip Bomb had a hand on the back. And now they're going to have words with the head coach, Chelsea Parker, for FMU. Time stoppage. No reach for a card but just a conversation. Been lots of fouls so far for both sides. Lots of free kicks as well. Parker sort of presenting her case to the main official, Hugo Laredo. No cards going to be given, like we said. And Restrepo clears it away. Simpom with a header on it. Jarvis try to keep up with it. Warriors now with numbers. Worst. Her pass is blocked. Santa Bria there to clean it up. Jarvis flicks it over. Sent bomb with a ball for Garon. She's on sides. Keeper comes out. Keeper is way out. And Magnin is able to recover and clean that one up.
Two substitutions coming on for the Patriots. Jarvis and Shipbaum coming off. Pavone and Reif coming back onto the pitch from action they saw in the first half. And Restrepo plays it back to Garon. White defending. Brosnahan cleans it up. Looks for Reif. Reif's on sides. And a just a foot save that time by Magnin. Oh, wow. What a save by the keeper for the Warriors. Garon was on sides and, and had an edge against Magnin. Magnin with just a toe touch save for the Warriors. Would have been 2 0 that time, but a corner kick still going to be given for FMU. With about 22 17 to go. Served in from Restrepo. Out of the 18 yard box now. That stays with the Warriors. They'll keep it again for a throw in. 22 to go here in the second half. Going the Patriots' way now. Rife with it. Well, it defended well by the Warriors. Free kick given to the Warriors. After, again, some pinball action. About 20 and a half to go. Worst and Thompson on the free kick. Worst goes away. So they're no longer going to play it short. They're just going to send the ball into the top of the box. And Restrepo is just going to blast it forward. Rife able to stay with it. Plays it to Garon. Rife with a bending run. That ball for Brosnahan just sent too far. Magnin comes up for it. And a throw in now for the Patriots. Caron's ball over to White. White just slips, but able to recover. Under 20 to go now. Santa Bria over the head of a warrior. She's having to shield it away and get around worst. And she may be holding on to the ball just a little too long as she is the center back for the Patriots just getting past midfield. But she picks up a free kick just that half field. Half field, midfield, you're going to say me say it differently probably every time. But midfield free kick here for the Patriots. Garon looks to be taking it, sending in Adkins to the box, and they'll also call for a time stoppage with Adkins going into the box. Garon. 
Garon's ball. Line drive into Reif. Reif shields it away. Stays with FMU. Restrepo just shielding it away. And immediately off sides is Pavone. Just got to wait a few seconds to come back on sides. Hey, you can play the ball to her, but not that time. Booted away by Santa Bria. And Reif gets ahead on it. Bad touch by Thompson. Garon keeps it in bounds. She fakes, sends a ball to Restrepo. Restrepo's ball is batted down. Jordan White's ball goes out of bounds for a Warriors throw in. 17 minutes to go. And that, that's, that one, unfortunately, I can tell you is a handball. Off of Santa Bria, it's going to be a free kick for the Warriors. Played short to Thompson. Ball served into the box. Santa Bria got ahead on it. As a Gere back to Mesa. Mesa with the ball to Giron. Free kick for FMU. They'll call a time stoppage. They'll actually give a yellow card to J.G. Garon that time. Fourth yellow card of the match so far. Ball from Adkins into the box. Mesa tries to get around Thompson, finds back to Garon. Garon trying to take it back. Shielded away and a goal kick for the Warriors. Here comes back onto the pitch, Ellie Ray for Inara Ezeguire. Thompson. Into Steves. Mesa defending. Mesa with a foot on it. They're unable to get another foot on it, but the Warriors end up back with it. It's 
going to go right to Willits. Under 15 to go here in the second half. Patriots still lead 1-0. 14 shots, 7 corner kicks for the Patriots. 4 shots, 2 corner kicks for the Warriors. That time, a good ball from the Warriors. And Willett's going to wait for a duo of Warriors to surround the ball and pick it up. That ball played well by the Warriors to Hansel. There's Gordon. Warriors still with it. Restrepo steps in front now. Garon ball intended for Brosnahan. Just too much, and it gets to the feet of a Warrior. Now Hansel. Defended by Mesa. She gets around Mesa. Able to send the ball low into the box for Gordon. And Mesa able to clear it out of the box. Throw in now for Southern Wesleyan. That's Thompson. Substitution now here for Southern Wesleyan. There's Hansel coming off for number eight, Kayla Hughes. Rosenhan inside the box, deflected, and Mesa does the job of booting it upfield. We get throw in here for Mesa. Under 11 and a half to go. Ten forty five to go. So Alejandra Mesa comes off for Joanna Kitbaum. Mesa was the lone patriot to find the back of the net off the corner from Valentina Restrepo. Gordon now defended by Santa Bria. Gordon pushes it down the line into the box. Four Warriors inside the box, but nobody able to get a foot on the ball. Under 10 minutes to go now. And they may send Lalandra Jarvis back in. She's warming up on the sideline. She gets called to go in now. She'll wait at the midfield mark. 
There's Reif now with plenty of space. And she was looking for Pavone in the middle. Might have been wiser to just keep it herself for a few more dribbles. Into the box. Willett's going to make a play on it. Almost got away from her. She was able to scoop it up. And the Warriors not able to keep it alive. Substitution now for the Patriots. Laundra Jarvis coming onto the pitch for Gianna Pavone. Free kick for the Patriots now. Under eight and a half to go. Adkins will take it. Adkins ball into the box. Off Brosnahan, Magnum picks it up. Brosnahan plays it back to Rife. Rife's ball just behind Garon. Ball played for Gordon. Gordon going to be able to get there against Santa Bria. Trying to cut it off as the Patriots. And Hughes just didn't feel as if she had enough time to put the ball down and take a dribble. She just takes a shot and it goes wide right for a Patriot goal kick. Well, now for the Patriots, we're going to have another substitution. That's number eight for FMU coming on the field for Kylie Reif. Number eight, Jada Pearson, the junior forward out of Columbia, South Carolina. Free kick for the Warriors just behind midfield. And we will have two more subs potentially coming in for the Patriots. 6.23 on the clock. Gets by some Patriots. Could have been scary hours that time, but the Warriors trying to swing anything they can into the box. It's going to be a throw in for Southern Wesleyan. Throw in is booted up by Brosnahan. Fresh legs for the Patriots is going to be a big factor here. As some balls sent over top could find the way to some Patriot boots. And White shielded off. They give a free kick to the Warriors. Jordan White literally acting out how she fell to the ground. Still not enough for our official Hugo Laredo. Even if you can give a performance like that, it's still tough for a reversal of the call. Under five to go now. Patriots still holding on to that 1-0 lead. There's the Patriots. There's those fresh legs we were talking about. Being able to outrace some of those Warriors to the ball. 
Now a throw in for Southern Wesleyan. Ellie Ray back to rebound. Ball for Pearson just too much inside the box. Four or five to go. And a handball not called that time, but will play on for the Patriots. They still maintain possession. Jarvis going to try and get to that one, but too much on it. Raise ball over to Garon. And a free kick given to the Patriots. A yellow card for the Warriors. That being number eight, Kayla Hughes. Adkins ball into the box. Almost makes it into the box. Headed out by a Warrior. Three and a half to go. Substitution. Two subs coming in for the Patriots. Throw in for Simpbaum. Tended for Garon. 3.05 to go. Warriors throw in. And the Warriors, they have some time to make an attack down the field, but not much. Going to need to speed things up here if they want to have a legit attempt. Be a goal kick here for Magnin. Off the heel of Restrepo. It'll stay with the Warriors. I'll give them a free kick. Warriors with 2.05 to go. They'll let it roll out, and that'll be a goal kick for FMU. Goal kick here for Michaela Willits with a minute and a half to go. Patriots. Holding on to that 1-0 lead here, just a minute and a half to get their second victory on the season. And this will definitely help them in the conference standings when it comes down to the, the tournament. With a minute 10 to go, if they can just close this game out. Free kick for the Patriots. I think the Patriots may have gotten away with that one. Not exactly sure what the call was, and Garon came up smiling. So Adkins is going to take it with 50 seconds to go.
Adkins sends a ball to the top of the box. Jarvis right there. And she'd be wise to just take it to the corner flag, but she sends a ball back into the box. Almost found its way into the left corner of the net. 30 seconds here now. This will be Southern Wesleyan's last opportunity to get something going. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, and tensions four, rise between three, the Warriors two. and the Patriots. And they call time with 0 0.9 on the clock. Both Hughes and Shitbaum did not like what occurred after the play. I have a conversation here with the officials. So don't quite let yet leave the stream. We still got 0.9 seconds on the clock. Anything could happen. Depending on where the ball is placed, of course. So free kick for the Patriots. I think they're just going to boot this one as far as possible. Yeah. And the final second off the clock now. The Patriots with their second victory on the season coming against Southern Wesleyan University. We'll take a look at some of the final stats here before we let you go. The member of the men's soccer team plays at 7.30 as well against Southern Wesleyan University. Taking a look at some of the stats on both sides, we'll start off with the visiting Southern Wesleyan University. Looking at the shot leaders, Matty Wurst was, seemed to be the key centerpiece for this match. Posting three shots and the lone shot on goal. One shot for defender number 15, Carla Gordon. And number eight, Kayla Hughes with another shot as well. The goalkeeper for Southern Wesleyan University is Amanda Magnan with three saves. And one goal allowed. Now looking at the Patriots who just picked up their second victory on the season, Michaela Willits in goal with just one save. Another clean sheet to her name for the year. Looking at the substitutes because we do have a lot of shots. 14 shots for the Patriots total in this match. Two shots from Ellie Ray, uh, the midfielder who came off the bench. Uh, the one goal for the Patriots came off the bench as well from Alejandra Mesa, the defender, with two shots, two on goal for her name. While Andre Jarvis also posted a shot, as well as Kylie Reif with a shot and one on target. For the starters of Francis Marion, one assist for Valentina Restrepo, three shots leading the Patriots, two shots, one on goal for J.G. Guerra on the midfielder, one shot for Pavone, Downey, and Brosnahan, all three recording a shot apiece. And also an assist for Gracie Atkins on the corner kick sent in by Valentina Restrepo. So the Patriots end with a final score of 1-0. Again, the Patriots men's soccer program following up here at 7.30 right here on the Patriots Sports Network. So don't go too far. We'll be right back.